Good evening, everyone. Uh, now, we're going to quickly analyze now USD CAD. A quick analysis, a very short video, a brief video, but I will give you an opportunity to understand how I'm approaching this price action. And there is a great trading opportunity. We've been selling this price action since last few weeks. So let's crack on this. USD CAD monthly candlesticks last month, you had a huge rejection of 600 pips there. The price significantly rejected from these areas. Now, I do not believe that price this month can break that area. I don't believe this. That's pretty unlikely. But what I can believe is this, that the price will always try to fill in the space before it further reduces to the downside. So that formation is low high formation. The price tried to fill in the gap, fill in the wick before it retraces to the downside. So from this monthly time frame, we can ascertain that we are not expecting the price as a main direction to go to the upside. Now from here, let's break it down further. Nice rejection on the monthly time frame. Price tested the previous highs. That was set it on December, January 16, 2016, 1470, nicely rejected. And let's begin. Now, last three weeks, two weeks, the price has failed to break the high. As you can see, the price tried to test this area, tried to break this, fails to break and return. Sharply return on the 23rd of March, week on 23rd of March. And then the last week, the price tried to make another attempt to the upside, reject it again, forming a three pin formation, which is a very strong reversal formation. Three pin formation. Now, what I'm expecting is this. That's what my expectation is. Seeing the price, I've seen where the price is at an area of investment where the sellers are entrusted, where the sellers had been previously entrusted in 2000. 16 as we have seen now do we have the presence of sellers yes we have significant indication from the daily time frame that there is significant presence of sellers there as you can clearly see so as long the price fails to break these highs what i'm expecting is that the price will roll over to the downside now significant area for buyers potential entrusted institutional area for buyers is, is here. That's what it is. Price can aim to fill this gap. Can you see this gap here? Normally the price behavior is such that she doesn't like gaps in the market. No matter if there's a gap, the price will fill those gaps in even after months and weeks and weeks. And exactly if you remember, that is the case on your USD when the gap was filled after almost six to eight months. I'm expecting the price to retrace to the downside. Daily is showing a significant presence of buy sellers there. That's what our analysis is. Let's break it down slightly further to understand the price action. Let's go on to the daily chart now. You can see the price went all the way up. One, two, three, four weeks of price action. The price nicely rejected there, fails to break 14600 and the price rolls over nicely to these levels. And then from last one, two, three, four, five, seven days, price trying to make an attempt, but has significantly fails to break the high. As you can see, that price fails to break this 1.4350 levels. Let's round this number. Always round the numbers, which you put in the psychological factor into the trading. What I'm expecting is that the price. If the price fails to break this level, then you are expecting the price to roll over to the downside. That's what expectation is. Now, guys, in case, let's say in case, which is pretty unlikely, but let's say in case the price breaks this. And my suggestion is look for selling opportunities only. Selling opportunities only around these areas.
targets are here. Now this retracement, this retracement was wave two on the Elliott wave formation and we are expecting wave three to the downside. That's what we are expecting. And remember in Elliott wave, in, uh, from in any Elliott wave theory, wave three is the longest trendy trend. It's the longest wave, it's a long trend and that is where the money is. Now, this aligns pretty nicely with the price action, with a price action on a higher time frames leading up to the smaller time frames with Elliott wave formation. And also, this formation to the upside is a rising wedge, a bearish flag, as you can see. Let's slightly take it further. So it's a rising wedge. Now, normally, the target of the rising wedge is pole to a pole. So guys, we are expecting targets around here, which also aligns with another uh, chart formation. So it's a pretty decent setup, a good reward against risk, and a beautiful trading opportunity Trade, trade this trading setup, guys, the best of your abilities. Use your trading strategies to take advantage of this trading idea, which, has, which I've shared. Most importantly, this is an opportunity for you to learn and understand how to conduct a top-bottom analysis, how to conduct a price section analysis, how to break down the price section from a higher time frames leading up to the smaller time frames before you break it down further to further smaller time frames to enter the trade. Hope you enjoy this video. I will come up with more uh, trading videos like this during this lockdown. Again, I reiterate the message: utilize this lockdown opportunity to learn forex. If you are into this, this is a great opportunity for you to have time in your house and not be at work to utilize that this time effectively, productively to learn this craft. And before it ends, this lockdown ends. You should be a successful trader. You know exactly how to trade. I wish you all the best, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Do leave your comments and messages as to your understanding of these breakdowns, and if these big breakdowns are helping you in becoming a better trader. Thank you.